Hello guys, what is up? I am in an amazing mood because I just filmed a reflecting on 2018 video. It's really long and it gets sad at the end and I'm really sorry about it, but after doing that, I feel so amazing, and now I'm ready to talk about my goals for this year. That was really cheesy. <laughs> but yeah, so I brought the sunflowers out in the back. I put on my girl power shirt. Like, we are just, I am ready to get this year started. So yesterday on New Year's Eve, I posted a video all about reflecting on 2018. I went through each month. I talked about my life and big things that happened that year. I talked about my travels and everything. And then today I'm gonna to be talking about my goals for 2019. I've written them down in the last few weeks. I've been really, I, I really take it seriously. Just popping in to say that this video is a collab with two amazing gals on YouTube, Kenzie and Maddie. I will have their videos linked down below. They're two amazing, inspiring girl bosses. Seriously love their videos always. So you guys should totally check out their videos on their channel. Kenzie did like a 5 a.m. morning routine and Maddie did like a plan with me for the new year organization productivity video. So I love them. Their content's amazing. If you like my videos, you'll like theirs. So make sure to check out their channel and subscribe. All right, let's get on with the video. Woo! I think the reason I'm always so motivated to like be healthier and happier in 2019 or in the next year is because you spend like the last two to three weeks of your year like just eating and purchasing things and just spending time for the holidays which is really fun but you eat a lot so then in 2019 you're like so ready for a fresh start I feel like. So that's just like my mentality and everything. But anyways, I have some things that I really want to work on, some goals I want to accomplish, and just some things I want to change and do for the next year. Nothing's like too dramatic, honestly. It's just stuff that I um, have written down or thought about the last few weeks that I was just like, I'm gonna write that down. So I wanna start this video off with a tweet that I actually saw, um, and I thought it was really awesome and some, a good way to start off the video. And it was basically like saying less of this, more of this. So it said less judging, more helping, less doubting, more supporting, less blaming, more accountability, less talking, more list, less imitating, more originality, less selling, more educating, less waiting, more doing, less division, more inclusiveness, less sameness, more diversity, less doubting, more courage, less clever, more kind. I saw this in my feed and I thought it was absolutely amazing. I think that's just a good um, thing to refer back to just as a mantra for 2019. Um, I don't relate to all these necessarily. I really like the less doubting and more courage. Honestly, that one really spoke to me because as confident and as motivated as I am, there's certain aspects of my life that I don't have courage in and I really chicken out. One of them being being too scared to take my car into the shop without my dad calling them first to tell them what they need to do in my car. Like, I just freak out and I don't know what to do. So that's one thing. That's just something to think about. Also, when it comes to, honestly, talking to the opposite gender, um, sometimes I just think I automatically assume that they're not going to like me or they're going to think I'm weird because I have a YouTube channel or I think I'm too much. I've talked about that before. And I just need to stop that. I just need to kind of bite the bullet and just go for it. So yeah, I really, really like this and maybe you can apply some of these to your life. I also like the less judging, more helping because whether we say it or not, we all judge. Like it just happens. Your mind just judges things. And I think, because I don't like when people judge me, it makes me sad. So I'm, I'm gonna try and like, if I see something, how can I help that? If I think it's so bad, how can I help it? So now on to the more, not tangible, but just some more things that I, these are my goals for 2019, is what I'm trying to say. I need water, man. I've been drinking so much water. My lipstick is all over this. I need to wash this. The first one I have written down, and this is in, in no order. These are just things I wrote down. The first one I have written down is work with kids more often. It's good for the soul. I have one little cousin for the first time. I have one first cousin. My Aunt Babs just had a baby this year. It's pretty exciting. My first first cousin. Um, but I'm not really ever around little kids. I don't really have any younger siblings other than a 17 year old brother. But when I was at Disney actually, you know, amidst my family arguing and trying to decide what ride to go on and all that, I would look down at these little kids in line and they were just so happy and I used to babysit. I used to go to a school that had pre-K to 12th grade, so I would see young kids and we would do things with the younger kids, but ever since being in college, I'm always surrounded by people my age, which is awesome and it's honestly so cool, but there is something special about being around the youth, and so I want to either do some volunteering or figure out some sort of way that I can be around younger kids because it really affects my mood in a good way, and I think it's really fun, and little kids love to be with big kids, you know, it's like I looked up to the big kids when I was younger, so I 
want to do the same, you know? My second goal is to use the grade calculator. I found this app called Grades, or A plus Grades or something on my phone. And at the start of the new semester, I'm gonna put down, I'm gonna look at all my syllabi and say, okay, these are all the assignments and tests that were given. These are how many points each one is worth. And this is the grade I want to end with it this semester. And I'm gonna hold myself accountable and use that dang grade calculator. My third goal is to just be more compassionate for other people. I'm a pretty compassionate person. I'm a very empathetic person. Like if I, if I am around someone who's sad, like I get so sad or I just, I'm a very empathetic person. Like I feel people's feelings. Like I immediately know if someone's mad at me. I wouldn't say I'm always focused on myself, but I am very self-driven. So if I'm trying to get something done and someone's in my way or someone's trying, I'm like, no, 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 I have to focus on myself. Because I, I used to be a people pleaser. I still am a people pleaser, but like, I was always a people pleaser, so I had to tell myself I had to say no sometimes, and I had to like not pay attention to other people's feelings sometimes because I was not, I was ignoring my own feelings. You know, there's times where I'm really just on my grind and I forget to check in with people, and not often, I don't think, I hope not, but I just wanna work on being more compassionate about others because relationships is the most important thing. Like, work is awesome and doing YouTube is amazing, but the people in your life are the most important. My next goal is to work on more philanthropic things because with my sorority, we have two philanthropies that we support. We support um, Prevent Child Abuse America and Athens, and then we also support Girl Scouts. But there's only so much you can do when you're in like such a big group. And, we, and I really love the events that we do with that. But there's some that hit more close to home. I would love to start working with St. Jude's in any sort of way I can help. Anything towards breast cancer awareness as well. My mom actually had breast cancer. Um, it was a very minor one. It was just like a little, um, I think it's called a node that they had to take out. Um, or how, well, I don't really know the term. Or something to do with dogs and the ASPCA or something like that. Those are three things that really hit home for me. Because I'm a big believer in charity and doing work for others. But I am not a big fan of people doing it just to look good or to put it on their resume. And that's why sometimes people are like, you don't do enough charity. And I'm like, well, I'm not just gonna go feed the homeless to say I fed the homeless, you know what I mean? Like, I know that sounds crazy and taboo to say and whatever, but I'm honest with you guys. Like, I wanna work with someone, I wanna help something that really means a lot to me or means a lot to a friend of mine or a family that I know. So those are the ones that really hit home for me and I'm gonna do some research and do my thing. My next goal is honestly to allow myself to be more vulnerable, especially when it comes to uh, guys and just people. I know that sounds like weird. When Joey and I broke up, I kind of just closed myself off to everybody, like at least of the opposite sex. I was just kind of like, I'm single, girl boss, like girl power, you know, I'm just kind of doing my own thing. I'm just working on my friends and I think that's good. Like, I don't really believe in like just bouncing off to another guy like as soon as you break up with someone. It's about time, Danielle. <laughs> I've gone on fraternity date nights and I met guys, but there's still this weird thing with me. If I tell, if I can tell a guy's interested in me, like I actually freak out and like I go to the other room or I will hide behind my friend or I won't make eye contact with him because I just, I freak out and the attention confuses me and it weirds me out and I just, I don't know. But then I'll go home at night and I'm like, why, why did I do that? That could have been something amazing. I could, even if not, I could have made an amazing guy friend because then that stops me from making guy friends because yeah. I'm just dumb. Focus on being more vulnerable and more comfortable around guys. Not too vulnerable though. Let's focus on just being comfortable around guys and like being myself and not worrying about anything. My other goal, I think this was in my video of last year, but I really just, I miss performing. My whole life I did hip hop dance, I did ballet, I did point, I did tap, but hip hop was like my main deal. I was on a hip hop team, it was literally the best thing in my life. I quit when I was in high school because I realized I wasn't gonna become a dancer when I was older and it was too time consuming. So then in college, freshman year, I joined a dance team, but then that was too time consuming and I really enjoyed it. Um, but I really also just miss musical theater and just theater in general. So one of my goals is just to get more involved with performing arts. Like I, I'm still gonna go to that dance studio in Athens and take hip hop classes. And I'm actually taking a theater this semester. I'm really excited because I needed more hours. And why not? Um, Daly's actually taking it too, but we're in different classes and I'm so mad. But I'm really excited because when I'm performing, when I'm on stage, like I visited my old high school over Thanksgiving break and I visited like our director because him and I are pals, go Mr. Marshall. 
I like walked onto the stage and I just had all these flashbacks of being in Legally Blonde as Brooke Wyndham, being in Into the Woods as one of the stepsisters, like just standing up there like gave me so many memories and so many amazing feelings. Like that feeling, if you guys are in theater, like when you finish a show and those curtains go down, like it is the best feeling in the world or even just getting on stage like I just love being on stage It's not even in a conceited way Like I just really enjoy the energy and being on stage with other people and just everyone being so happy to be there And I really miss that part of my life because I've done now I'm like so YouTube which is fun because I'm performing I'm like on a camera, you know, whatever But there's something about live performing whether it be dancing or acting I did a little bit of singing not really I miss it I want I want more of that in my life my next goal is honestly my goal every year but this year I'm really focusing on just being happy and healthy like I could say it's gonna be more healthy and just you know but happy and healthy like there's a difference between like I'm probably not gonna go on like any insane diet this year I tried veganism this year I don't know how I felt about it just focusing on eating in moderation having pasta you know because I like it, but then also making good choices at dinner. But honestly, just working out because I love working out. I always love how I feel afterwards, but I always make excuses. I'm like, oh, I don't have much time in my day. I really enjoy it, and I really got into Orange Theory this last semester and spin. We just don't have an amazing spin studio in Athens. So I have an unlimited membership at Orange Theory, so I want to try and go more than two times a week. I've been going two times a week. So more of that just more of focusing on my body and like self-care. I know people say self-care isn't always face mask and it's not, I, I, I agree with that. Self-care is maybe I need to go just more some yoga classes and take some meditation. Just really focusing on like my inner happiness so hopefully it overflows to my YouTube and for you guys to see and give you some good vibes. My last goal for 2019 is a big one that I've been really focusing on, I've been trying to work on it the last month or so, is minimalism. And if my parents are watching this, they're probably laughing because my room at my mom's house is a mess but that's also because I like I'm like half home half about to go back to college so it's like weird but I'm really into the whole idea of like a capsule closet basically a capsule closet is like having like 20 items in your closet and they all can go together there's no way I can just bring my closet down to 20 items but I do like the idea and I've been trying to work on this more of just buying more basics and jeans and like black and whites and golds and just kind of mixing and matching with that also in the sense of my apartment I really need to declutter it I just because like I love when I travel because I just bring everything I need and then I'm like wow I honestly could live on this for like a month so or more so I'm just really want to just like minimalist like I'm still gonna shop I'm still gonna do hauls but I don't know if that makes sense I just want a very clean environment in my apartment because when I when my apartment's clean, when I'm clean, everything when I'm clean, when everything feels clean, I feel good. Oh my gosh, we did it. Those are my goals for 2019. I want to know your number one goal of 2019 because maybe I need some more goals in my life. So comment them down below. Yay for the start of a new year. Happy New Year. I hope you guys had an amazing New Year's Eve. I know New Year's, it's so funny because New Year's Day for me, I'm always super lazy because you're up so late watching the ball drop that you're like the next day, like, I don't hit the gym on New Year's Day. Like, New Year, the New Year starts on, like, January 2nd for me. New Year's Day is, like, this recu recovery situation. I love you guys so much. I'm so excited for this year. I honestly, I wish I could say, like, I have so much planned for 2019. I really don't. I have lots of ideas. I'm just kind of getting into the year subtly, and we're just going to see where this year goes, to be honest. I'm still going to just focus on being consistent and doing awesome things on my YouTube channel, Gals on the Go podcast. My Instagram, I'm working on, I'm starting the ideas of processes in my mind for some exciting things, but nothing crazy in the works. Don't know what I'm doing this summer. Brooke and I talked about doing some traveling. Um, but yeah, stay tuned, folks. <laughs> if you want to see what happens in 2019 and if I actually accomplish my goals, subscribe down below. I love you guys forever and ever. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for sticking around. Can't believe it's just another year. I started this channel 2010, 2010, so it's 2019 now. Wow, wow. My nine year anniversary will be on June 24th, I think, that's the day, so. Hope you're having an amazing start to the new year. You're probably in bed being really tired because you stayed up last night, but that's okay. New year starts tomorrow. I love you guys, and I'll see you very soon for our next video.